Hi, Greg Ellis from the Illawarra Mercury and for people of Wollongong today we welcome Professor Gordon Wallace from the University of Wollongong. This segment is brought to you by Access Law Group and the Illawarra Mercury. To start off with, uh, I'd like to go right back to the beginning and uh, if you can tell us where you were born and where you grew up. Sure, so I was born in Belfast in uh, 1958 and uh, I grew up in, in Belfast. My parents immigrated from there when I was 14 years old uh, to Geelong. Uh, so quite a different change in scene coming from Belfast, which was not a pleasant place to be at that point in time, uh, into what turned out to be an, an amazing change in lifestyle uh, in Australia. Now you've been here for 30 years, you've done a lot of things in that time. What are some of the favourite projects you've worked on? You know, Greg, and I'm not joking about this, every week is my new favourite project. Uh, and so just last week we published some work on uh, new materials that we've developed that have an influence on biological processes that underpin the development of schizophrenia. Uh, and, and so that's really front of mind for me at the moment, uh, working with Professor Xu Feng Huang, who's a, a medical doctor and a researcher at University of Wollongong. And Xu Feng has been working in the causes and the treatment of schizophrenia for decades. Uh, and there's an experiment that we did uh, where we're taking actually cells from schizophrenic mice. Uh, and this is a routine experiment for Xu Feng. He's looking at uh, taking those cells and you see that they, they don't grow properly, they don't connect properly. And they've been looking at testing drugs to try and get those neurites that come out of the cell to reconnect uh, with no success for, for decades. Uh, and here we discovered uh, this material uh, where we thought we'll use this material to do electrical stimulation uh, of the cells and see does that help them reconnect. Now it did, uh, and, and reconnecting in, a, in an amazing way. Uh, the number of reconnections was just astounding. Uh, and then we did the blank experiment where you just take the material and you don't do the electrical stimulation, and even then we got some reconnection. So a totally accidental uh, discovery. The electrical stimulation we expected, but the effect of the material itself uh, really rocked us back on our heels. And, uh, and it was great to share that moment with Xu Fong and the team. It was an incredibly exciting discovery. Now, you've achieved many world firsts here in Wollongong, and there's going to be many more to come, I'm sure. What I would say to people watching this interview is uh, have a look online and look at some of the projects you've done, because we could spend all day talking about sure. them, from bionic ears to artificial muscles and all sorts of things. It's quite amazing. But can you tell me about the reason for coming to Wollongong and uh, what the city was like and how much it's changed since then? Uh, a story I often tell, because I think it, it captures the transition, is that when I came to Wollongong, I think there was more than 20,000 people worked at the steelworks, maybe closer to 30,000, and we had 4,000 students at the University of Wollongong. And of course, that's totally flipped. Uh, we've now got more than 30,000 students at the University of Wollongong uh, and a few thousand people working at the steelworks. So it's just one example of that transition, but that transition has been staggering. There's still a role for big industry, obviously, uh, in, in Australia and in, and in Wollongong, and, and we work closely uh, with those big industries from Blue Scope to Cochlear, for example. Uh, but and it's also really exciting now, though, to see these emerging, these new industries uh, that are, that are uh, coming uh, onto the scene. Uh, you know, people like Venus Shell Systems that grow seaweed uh, down in Nara. Uh, now, believe it or not, that's an amazing process. Pia Winberg uh, loves her seaweed, you know, and so she's there caring for this seaweed, extracting these exquisite and precious molecules from that seaweed that we're able to use in, in 3D printing for wound healing, you know. So bringing this research together with these emerging industries is also uh, really exciting. You know, you, Wollongong is not, it's not new to have, to be at the forefront of innovation and new science and new technology. It's been, it's been there, it underpinned the copper industry, it's underpinning Blue Scope and what they do there now. Uh, but it's great that there's new stuff emerging as well. Now, I think I read somewhere the research you do has attracted people from 25 countries to come and work in research. So. Yeah, I, 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 I we have people from 25 countries working in the labs just at the moment. Uh, I'm sure over the years we've worked with uh, you know, probably closer to 100 uh, different countries in terms of doing uh, collaborative research. Uh, and it's very important. Uh, and again, one of the beauties of Wollongong is when you get people here, they don't want to leave. Uh, and so we've had many visitors that have ended up coming back to work for us. 
Uh, and, and that's important. We're getting the best people in the world, in particular areas, to come here and work with us in Wollongong to share this vision that we can take very fundamental research and turn it into emerging opportunities for the next generation of people who need a job. Uh, and that's important. I mean, we, we couldn't do it by ourselves. Uh, we need to keep attracting the best people in the world into Wollongong, and that's at all levels. That's not just in research. The best people in the world of business, the best people in the world uh, in engineering and manufacturing, uh, we, we need them here in Wollongong if we're going to keep at the forefront. Before we finish, I want to ask you two questions. What do you love about Wollongong, and how do you see the future? What do you expect to happen? Uh, look, what I love about Wollongong is I, I, there's no one thing that I could say I love about Wollongong, but, but let me tell you, I, I've obviously visited a lot of places in the world and I've had job opportunities in many places in the world which I've uh, declined to take. Uh, and, and the reason for that is it's, Wollongong is an exciting place to work and it's been an incredible place to work. Uh, to build that team over 30 years and do the things that we're doing now, which still excite me on a daily basis, is, is an amazing opportunity to do that for, uh, for Wollongong. It's also an amazing place to live. As I say, visitors that come here, once we get them here, it's pretty hard to get them out of here. And that, yeah. that's good for us. We keep the best talent in the world in doing that. And, and it's been an amazing place to bring up our kids. Uh, just mm -hmm. a great place to live. You know, both of our kids are now a bit older and uh, one of them's working at Equihydrex, you know, a spin-off company down in Montague Street. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got opportunities in, in his field of mechanical engineering. Uh, our daughter's at university. Uh, and it's just been an amazing place to bring up kids. Uh, they've had the advantage to play, uh, the opportunity to play sport. I mentioned my son's soccer before. Mm. He's now playing AFL in Wollongong. And, and my daughter's been an Irish dancer since she was four years old and has just returned from three years uh, dancing around the world as, as a professional dancer. Uh, but Wollongong's home for all of us. Uh, this is where we'll always be. Gordon Wallace, Professor Gordon Wallace, thank you very much for your time. No problem. In the loop. Nice you. to talk to you. Thank you. In the Loop Wollongong is only made possible because of the support of our wonderful partners. So please show some love to our media partner, I98FM. Are made possible by partners. Wollongong Central, discover the city. The University of Wollongong, where he's still trying to figure out how to use that degree. I'm going to get a job at the sociology factory, you'll see. <laughs> Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. Destination Wollongong, we, we love, love the gong. Access Law Group, resolution is our solution. Kazen Business and Financial. Lancaster Law and Mediation. Illawarra Mercury. Internet Tricks. Relativity, fun fact, we actually make the show here. Our promotional partners, who you can see here. And our kitchen partners, which you can also see here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on, on In The Loop, Loop Wollongong. Bye. <laughs>